All right, here is warm up number 13. We, we're going to complete this proof. So here's a diagram. There's some given information and what we're trying to prove. Okay, so these proofs are always going to start with the given info, which is right there, right? And they'll end with what you're trying to prove. So this is getting from this to x equaling 32. So someone's thought through the steps. We just have to figure out what they were thinking step by step. Okay, so we're always going to start with the given info, like I was just saying. So the first reason is just given, because the reason that this angle is 143 degrees is just because we're told that it is, right? That's what the problem says, okay? All right, so um, ABC, let's think about that. Angle ABC is the big angle. So I kind of like to put this info into the picture as I go. So that given info, 143 degrees is that big angle, okay? So now I've got it there, okay? Now next up, it says um, measure of angle CBD plus angle DBA. Remember that the uh, vertex is in the middle of these when we name them. So CBD, CBD, that's, um, that's this angle right here where I just put the dot, okay? That's angle CBD. And DBA, DBA, that's this one. So those two angles where I put the dot, if I add them together, then they're going to be equal to angle ABC, which is the big angle, right? Which is this bigger angle. So, hey, if you got two angles that are adjacent to each other, next to each other, stick them together, you get a bigger angle. That's the angle addition postulate. Okay, I'm abbreviating a little bit here, angle addition postulate, okay? Um, I'll just write out the word postulate, why not? Found a little extra energy there. Okay. All right. So next, uh, instead of the names of these angles, now we've got some expressions. And we're just using the expressions from the given info, right? Like ABC, we know the measure of that angle is 143 degrees. So we've substituted 143 in for angle ABC. And likewise, we've done the same thing with the other two angles. We've just used the given info that's in the diagram. So it says that this angle up here, the top angle is 3x plus 23. Oh, so... We can substitute that in for CBD, and we can substitute 2x minus 40 in for DBA. So this is um, substitution that we're using. Okay, and next up, now it's all algebraic from here. So we actually don't need the diagram anymore. You can just think, how are you going from this equation to this equation? Well, if you take the 3x and the 2x and combine them, that would give you 5x, right? And then if you take... 23 and negative 40, those would combine to negative 17. So we're combining like terms, okay? So you can write it like that. You could also say simplify. Some people will say addition property of equality, but that's incorrect. I know you're adding these two things together, but addition properties when you're adding the same thing to both sides of the equation. Nothing's happening on the right side of the equation here, okay? So this has to be either simplify or com combine like terms. Um, either one of those is fine. You don't need them both, but Either one works. All right, and then next up, I'm looking, how did I get from D to E? Well, the negative 17 left. That's because we've added 17 to both sides, and you don't need to write the plus 17. So I'm just kind of illustrating what's happening here. So this is the addition property of equality because um, the same thing is happening to both sides of the equation. Addition property of equality. There's my abbreviation there, okay? And then the last step, the five disappeared, and then we've got a different number there. Well, if you divide both sides by five, that will get you um, to step F. So this is the division property of equality. Okay, and some people might say uh, multiplication. Uh, usually people will say division here, but you can make an argument, well, I multiplied by one fifth on both sides. Well, sure. If you multiply by one fifth, that's the same as dividing by five. So technically, anytime there's division, you could also use multiplication and vice versa. Same thing with the addition step. You could have said, well, um, I subtracted negative 17 instead of adding positive 17, because that would be the same thing. So addition and, and subtraction are technically um, interchangeable. Division property and multiplication ones are also interchangeable. Okay, that's it for today.